Hello fellow simmers and welcome to this tutorial on how to use Rex4 Weather Architect with Steam. First thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to not fire up our Rex4 Weather Architect, but we're going to want to fire up Steam. And there's our FS Recorder module error. Click OK on that. Obviously if you don't have FS Recorder loaded on your machine, you're not going to get that error. It's just going to get right into your Steam. Okay, so we're going to go up here where it says Free Flight, which I'm sure you all know where that is. Click on that. We're going to back out of it. And we're going to now open up Rex4 Texture Director. I'm sorry, Rex4 Weather Architect. It's going to pop up here. Okay, so when that pops up, I'm just going to go ahead and go over to the weather themes because I've already got a couple loaded. And I'm just going to click on Fly Now. And I'm going to install Rex4 Texture Direct Weather Based Textures that's going to be used within Weather Architect. And I'm going to click OK. And it's going to ask me if I want to do a weather briefing and click OK if I want to or cancel to fly now and I just want to show you how it works so I'm just going to cancel that. If you'd like to see a tutorial on how to uh, set up Weather Architect throw some comments in there down below and uh, well, see what I can do for you. And usually this takes a few moments if you've never used this before. Now it says that it's uh, been created and we're going to load it. When you click OK, it's going to start loading this into FSX Steam and it's going to close this Rex window here. So click OK. It's telling us now that the injection protector basically so you don't goof up the weather is going to uh, kind of gray out your screen and uh, load everything. So we're going to click OK on that. You may get a little error message from Steam that flashed up there. Don't worry about that. That's normal. And now we're injecting weather. Okay, when it gets to this phase, the, uh, the gray screen kind of goes away and your computer is back to being accessible and then you're going to get this and you can click on the radar and as you can see now there's nothing going on that's because we haven't actually loaded this into our steam yet so we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on the flight planner tab over here And as soon as you click on that, it automatically loads your flight plan in there. So we're going to click OK. And then we can just click Save. And yes. Yes for that. And you can see over here that now it says User Defined Weather. And now we know that that definitely loaded. And when we click on our radar you can see that the weather's loaded we got everything in here so it looks like it's going to be A-OK -okay. and just for demonstration purposes we'll leave the ultra flight, ultralight in there and you can see the weather it's very cool very awesome and there we have it we got some major rain we got some major wind too I'm, I've got the brakes on, and the wind is so strong that it's making this ultralight go. So it's kind of funny. Uh, God only knows what it's going to do when it's in the air. Look at that. It's... Wow. It's going all over the place. It's crazy. But it, anyway, that's Weather Architect, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. 
Give us a thumbs up if you like what you see. Check us out on Facebook at facebook.com slash Flight Sim Productions.